been out of the mountains for five minutes and we've already forgotten to bring bear spray. Even though technically it's not bear season anymore, I don't exactly want to be stuck out here in grizzly country without bear spray. Wilmore Wilderness is home to one of the highest densities of grizzly bears in Alberta. <laughs> this is needed. <laughs> Good afternoon everybody. Welcome back. If you are new here, welcome to our channel. We are currently in northern Alberta. We're about three hours out of Edmonton and we have just arrived at Sulphur Gates. A beautiful spot. Well, it looks like it on the pictures anyway. Short hike apparently to get there and that's about all we know at this point in time. It's big. It's about 600 meters in and it's pretty. And so it's pretty. That's, we'll all we need. that's all we need to know, really. That's all we need to know. <laughs> we don't really know exactly where we are right now. Halfway between the middle of nowhere and... And Jasper. Yes. <laughs> Who knows? Stay tuned. Let's see what happens. Well, that took a whole two minutes after our three hour drive, so now what? Three and a half hour drive. Three and a half hour drive. <laughs> so now we um, find the sun and hide it. Stop moving again. <laughs> and we'll go find somewhere to camp for the night. So the consensus was we would just park up on some Crown camping for the night and make some dinner and then we're going to go out and explore a little bit more tomorrow. So we just popped into town to get some better service and we purchased a Alberta Crown Camping Pass. I don't believe you need one for BC but I'm definitely going to have to double check that. So it was about 41 bucks for a year which means that we can camp on any Crown land in Alberta for the next year up to 14 days at each stop. So we probably were meant to have it when we were at Klein River. Oops, didn't know that. <laughs> but now we know and now we've got it. So we're going to go make some dinner. Tonight I am cooking us spaghetti bolognese but I'm doing a vegetarian version with I'm tofu. Cleaning. <laughs> Brandon's cleaning. I have taken over the kitchen space today. As you probably noticed, Brandon does a lot of the cooking when we're out on the road. He's done a lot of driving today um, so it's only fair that I get out and get into the kitchen and I really enjoy cooking anyway so it's about time I do a bit more cooking and I'm going to show you my recipe for the meal that we are cooking tonight. So first things first I have got my tofu block I've cut it in half and put it onto a tea towel put something weighted on the top just to help drain some of that water out. I've got half a chopped onion and then I've got a can of tomatoes, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, just some um, like frozen veg and they're also going to do a Caesar salad to go with it and obviously the spaghetti. While the water takes 500 years to boil I'm going to grate up the tofu. So once the tofu is all shredded you end up with this almost chicken mince meat looking texture which we're going to use essentially as our protein or meat substitute for our bolognese. Next up we're going to fry our onions in some coconut oil. If you cook using vegetable oil, like it's labelled vegetable oil, I strongly encourage you to do some research about what vegetable oil actually is and find yourself an alternative. Any alternative to labelled vegetable oil, be that coconut oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, just, just do it. Take my word. Pasta is into the boil. The onion has softened and reduced. We're going to set that aside and then we're going to use the same pan to fry up our tofu. Into the pan. And we're going to fry that until the moist, most of the moisture is gone out of it and until it's a little bit brown. I'm just going to add an amount of my seasonings. When I'm adding seasonings and spices, I really don't have exact measurements. I just kind of like sprinkle in what I feel and then go from there. Mm -hmm. That much of Italian seasoning and that much of garlic. Normally I would use fresh garlic, we just don't have it at the moment, so garlic powder is my substitute for today. Mix that through, wait for those spices to get really aromatic before I add in the tomato and the veg. In goes the veg, in goes the tomato. I almost forgot to add salt and pepper. Make sure you do that. Oh, I'm so keen on this. Ooh, that looks delicious. That looks unreal, baby. 
One for you. Thank you. And one for me. What about it? I don't know if you can just see every now and then a little speck comes past the window, but it's snowing! Finally getting into the winter weather. So today's just going to consist of random sightseeing with zero plan. We Let's see where we end up. Yeah, we attempted to go and see Twin Falls, but have driven 28 minutes beyond <laughs> where it is. It's just going to be one of those days, yeah? Go where the wind takes us. All right, we found that it was literally about two minutes up the road from our campground. Not even two minutes. Not even two minutes. Not even a two minute walk. Yeah, like we literally camped right there and we just drove half an hour up that way. <laughs> oh, geez. Falls, guys. We weren't too sure if it would actually still be running for this time of year. We are very, very thankful that it is still running. Beautiful. Don't know why we do this to ourselves. Up we go. I mean, not the best choice of shoes for this little adventure here. It's snowing. Wow. for the day we've just pulled it off the highway 40 into Pierre Gray's Lake however it's snowing <laughs> so we're just kind of gonna drive around and have a look and admire from the car because it's freezing snowing half of the things are closed because the off-season like there's perks with off-season travel like way less people but also the downside is the park starts to close down a lot of the areas so you can't actually access a lot so we're just going to drive around and enjoy the views he's crazy as soon as there's water he's like yep let's get out and let's go but it's way too cold. He's all on his own out there. It's a no from me. Park of Jasper. Join us next week for our Jasper video and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next week guys. Bye!